This is problem three on practice exam two of module 10 in the book Problem Solving Guide for Mechanics and Thermodynamics. Look at all this. Latent heat diffusion of silver is that. Latent heat diffusion of gold is this. Silver has a melting point of this. And, uh, I don't really, let's touch a tap here, let's see. 60 grams of liquid silver at 960 is poured on top of 100 grams of gold at 20 degrees Celsius. The container is sealed to prevent thermal energy loss outside the system. What is the final temperature of the combination? So here's the problem. 60 grams of liquid silver at 960 is poured on 100 grams of gold at 20. What's the final temperature? We're going to pull out these numbers as we need them. Let's start with the good diagram. Here's some liquid silver. We're going to pour it. We have a little ladle there at 960 degrees. We're going to pour it on this gold, 100 grams at 20 degrees. We're going to get the final equilibrium temperature. The first step is to solidify the silver. How much energy do you have to take away from the liquid silver to solidify it? We're not going to change the temperature. So we need the latent heat diffusion of silver, and there it is. 111,000 joules for every kilogram. We have 60 grams, 0 0.06 kilograms. So if you take away 6,660 joules from the liquid silver at 960, it will become solid silver at 960. So now we can determine how much the temperature of the gold has to change to do that. The gold's going to heat up. It's going to take away the energy from the silver. So we have 6,660 joules. This is the energy it costs to, lick, to solidify the silver. We have 100 grams of gold, 0.1 kilograms. There's the heat capacity of gold, and there's delta T for the gold. How much temperature, how many degrees will the gold go up when you pour the liquid silver on it and it solidifies? It's still 960. The answer is delta T for the gold is 516 degrees. That's a lot. It's easy to change the temperature of gold. It's got a low specific heat and silver has a high latent heat diffusion. This is the change of the gold that starts off at 20, goes up 516, so the final temperature is 536. That's the final after solidifying the silver. But we still have hot silver on top of this gold. So we have 60 grams of solid silver at 960. We didn't change the temperature yet. We have 100 grams of gold at 536, and we're going to let them fight it out and see where they get to. They're going to come to some equilibrium temperature. It's between 536 and 960. We have to figure out what it is. So now the energy lost by the solid silver. We need the specific heat of silver. And here it is right here. 240 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. The final temperature of the silver is 960 minus T final. And we have 60 grams, which is 0.06 kilograms. The energy gained by the gold is mc delta t for the gold. We have 100 grams of gold. There's the specific heat of the gold. The final temperature for delta t for the gold is t final minus 536. Started off at 536. These are both positive. We can set them equal. We're going to multiply them through. And we get that for the silver, this for the gold. And we can set these q's equal. And that gets us this equation. We collect the T terms, the T final terms, and the two energies. And we get this. And we divide both sides by 27.3 joules per degree Celsius to get T final. And we got the right units. The joules cancel. It's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Seems reasonable. That's problem three.